Hi everyone, today we are looking at a 2006 SeaDoo 951 direct injection engine. It came in with a problem. Let's start her up and listen what it is. All right, so clearly the one cylinder is wet and the other one is dry, so there is a problem. All right, so the one cylinder has got compression and the other one definitely has no compression. Okay, well, let's strip this engine out. Thank you. 
All right, so looking at the oiling system, this is a gravity feed system. We can see there is oil in the tank. So it gravity feeds from there through to the filter and then into where it's supposed to go. We disconnected this and there's no oil coming out of the pipe. It's supposed to flow out as well as sludge in the tank. Most probably they put two types of oil in here. So this is the cause blockage and breakage of your engine. All right, so why we don't mix different kinds of two-stroke oils with each other is because they form a kind of a gel and clogs up everything. You can see the exit pipe on the inside is clogged up. And when we follow the exit pipe, oil is supposed to fall freely, but it's not. Decanting the oil. You can see the sludge, how it formed. This is detrimental and please take note. The oil doesn't sludge up immediately, but leave it for a month or two. Next time you want to use your personal watercraft or the machine will clog up. In this oil tank, we can see there's a foreign object. And usually these objects find their way into the outlet and it blocks the flow of the oil besides the gel, causing engine failure. 